Okay, I think I think it's time to start it up. Let's do it. You can tell us new because we got nothing in here. <laughs> the puzzle game or this game? I'm an emotional man, so it's no, it doesn't take much to make me cry. Yo, their sound engineers are on point. The puzzle game? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'd love to play then. Supposed to click something? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's about you. Reach late 20s, laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from a nearby sea boulder. I don't know why I'm talking this way. You, Henry, uh, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You're drunk. I feel like this is like the cute, but this is really what someone would say. Unless you're really drunk. <laughs> you slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology it says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. Oh, man. Toxicology. <laughs> Got him. Is that a burn, you ask? <laughs> oh. What's going on, Crimson? How you doing? Set in World War One, and the creators teamed up with historical groups to sites and give an authentic feel, and you learn about various areas of war while following a cast of characters. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Crimson, how are you doing today? Play some Destiny 2, let's go. I'm assuming this is my truck. This guy seems like he drive a truck. <laughs> You need it for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Nice. You move and you share an apartment near the school with the view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julie wants to get a dog. Hell yeah. Let's go, dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julie is in love with it. You want to bring it to her to class. Also, there's an intimidating but gentle eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad can happen as Julia. A walking to the dot, it's badass. But if Julia wants it, you know what I mean? Mayhem? I will do Bucket. Bucket's a good dog, and Luke later, you totally forgot about the other one. Julia loves him, you love him too. You send a Steam link to me? Sounds good. Oh, speaking of which, we have a, uh, a channel in the Discord now called Stream Discussion. So if we're discussing anything during the stream, you can drop it in there. It helps me find it, and it can give a place to, to drop their thoughts and stuff about the stream. I thought, I, I thought it was a cool idea. 1979, you walk out on the deck. It's summer, 930, and the heat still radiates off the high desert. Think about kids. Aw. Kids are not very smart or good at much. <laughs> I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. She looks away out towards the mountain. We may have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you sure? You tell her she's the body of an undergrad. My <laughs> ovaries didn't get the memo. She says laughing it off. Okay. Giving you some Pixar up vibes. Oh, for sure. Six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Warning. Trail's not recommended for inexperienced hikers. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Fuck bears. Bears are evil. 
I'm supposed to grab my backpack? No? Did he grab it and I, my brain just totally blinked out? Probably. You don't think you're in my Discord? Yeah, feel free to join. It recently got a revamp. I spent some time on it. It looks really pretty now. It's Thursday night and Julie is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry with a minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. If I, uh, you fight when she gets between the sheets. Oh. Anymore. You'll touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about the evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You take some coffee and go to work. Julie still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret. That's me. Very nice. <laughs> That's very nice. This is a Victoria's Secret time. Appreciate it, Gunner. This game confuses you. Watch someone play it for a bit and was so lost. This is the very start of it, so maybe you'll be able to find out stuff you missed. Eight more miles still. Space bar to climb over. Ooh, that's pretty. 1982, during this summer, you and Julia enjoy walking the bucket at night. That's our beagle. There's a festival in town. It brings in the folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Okay, you can have my shit. Bucket gets kicked. Oh, you son of a bitch. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking. When you stress, you confront the attacker. You beat his goddamn face in. I feel like maybe not attacking someone with a knife, personally? Reach into your pocket that you've got a gun through to kill him. You manage to scare all three of them. He runs away. Julie asks you to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then, you walk by the river. I'm not going to be... Dude. So there's a lesson to learn from police officers when they say it involves knives. If there's a knife, all you do is run away. You don't even take your gun out. There's like... Knives are super scary. Like their efficiency of doing what they do. Uh, plans of kids gets laid by work. Oh. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. I don't know. Fucking do your best life. She says they'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up. That's what she wants. Exactly. She flies back three times each semester. Yeah, I know, but nice will not be nice. Fuck you, yeah, dude. Julie is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost some colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. Uh, she didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh, shit. She was found crying in a stairwell. Why are these options so unsupportive a lot? After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried that Julie might be suffering from early onset dementia. Oh, shit. Both decide to keep it a secret for now. All right, sounds good, Static. Yo, dementia is no fucking joke. <laughs> Go to the next page. Go to the next page. I did that to myself. <laughs> That's what I get for choosing Victoria's Secret. No. <laughs> but but uh, Bucky is getting older. Julie comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. One week later, she goes back to the university. Julie affection, affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason. and has to be brought home by the police. Fuck, dude, that's scary. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julie who calls you dope and your, un, and your unborn children, little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. 
She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into tannic, believing her dad is at the door. Oh, man. Tell her family they're crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Austria to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Sorry, sorry, Gunner. <laughs> you spend your days following Julie around the house. You count the seconds between two, e two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere 24 hour care, a home that sits with you for a couple months. It's better for her. Listen, it's not my fault. I wasn't expecting that. The journal was there. It was yelling at me, pick me up. I, I, it wasn't yelling at me, open it. <laughs> I was definitely trying not to look at that, trust me. That is not what I'm interested in. Oh, a deer! Hello! The fuck was that? <laughs> that good Victoria model is neck to the side. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and over there. You see her every day. Then every other day. Oh no. Go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if he ever put me in a home like Henry did, I'll cut your balls off. Oh, God. You slowly decide uh, to not see your old friends that much. Damn. What's going on, Winged? How you doing? Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. He always really liked Susan. Once goodbye, Bucket dies. No! Julie doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you and the back of your mind you believe it's because you see her less and less. Seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. This is already sad. You could have warned me about it. God damn it, Gunner. <laughs> this game's kind of pretty. I just like something just popped up on my screen for a second. That was weird. Firewatch is not a happy game. Oh no. What have I signed up for? This would be a weird job to accept. Solitude? I don't feel like that's like a... Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello? Glory. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Oh, yeah. Hello. You gonna answer it? There you go. Hello? Uh, release left shift to talk with Delilah. Um, hey there, hello? Delilah. What's what it like in New York it's Forest? Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? Yikes. What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then, can I what, sleep forever? <laughs> sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Hey, it was great hanging out with you, Wing. Yo, that's rough. All of these options are really mean. You're just gonna wait me out on this? Ugh, fine. But I'm gonna take a second here and have a guess about you. Let's I feel like see. silence was the best answer. I don't know anything about you, but maybe you just really like trees. <laughs> what? Gosh. 
gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Welcome to the job. Yeah, this morning, lady's Henry. intrusive. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Where the fuck's the camera at? Huh? Wait, pick... pick. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. Time to throw the lady off the side of the mountain? What, yeah. 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Huh? Where's West? Oh, I heard. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Oh, compass. Oh yeah. Look at that. Well, oh, that's the wrong button. Seriously, Shift. are you seeing this? Whoa, yeah. that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now. She's at the neighboring them. watchtower. Fire dangerous through the fucking roof. I can roof. see you. Oh. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale what? between you and the lake. Answer the question. Right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. <laughs> what? Idiots. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> okay, I like her. Give me my... Uh, put the compass away. Can I not grab my bag? Can I not... Can I grab this, actually? I really want to see it. Oh, I'm sad now. Why did I... Please. Game. Game, this is a sentimental picture. Can you fucking put it back? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Propane, huh? Interesting. rope in the cache. Where am I at? Cache 306, which is that way. Got it. Hmm. Wait, I need to go west. So, you guys are going to see me pull out that walkie-talkie a lot, because shift is normally sprint, and it's walkie-talkie in this game. <laughs> I hate it here. What's going on, Viz? How you doing? Did I see her bear? Sorry, I don't like bears. Oh, wait. Does it actually show me moving? Cool. That makes things way easier. I just tried sprinting again. I'm hearing something for fucking sure. Better be fireworks, not actual bear. Bears will fuck you up, man. I keep hearing a bear. Just 
cut on a rock? I found the supply box. Great. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, Pablo Escobar reincarnated. Oh no. Just a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. Okay, so, uh... Oh, that was weird. Hey, guys, I couldn't take it, so I locked up this lookout. Hey, man, guys. Wait, what? Hey, man, guy? Couldn't take it. So I locked up this lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked hiking into the park. Well, let's get fucked when I get back, Dave. Okay. Uh, drop. The fuck do I want a pine cone for? Fine. Okay. Gib. Can I, uh, keep it? Or do I have to eat it? Is there hunger in this game? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna... Fuck it. They did a really good job on audio. <gasps> Artichoke, let's go. Okay. So what's this game about? I have no idea yet. So far I know. I guess you got it. Oh, okay, that's not a bear. That's them firing the rockets. I feel way better now. It's steep, okay. Fuck! God damn it, shift. Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. We'll be careful for Christ's sake. <laughs> no shit, huh? Okay, so northwest. Okay, that's the right way. Yeah, you're absolutely going to feel that. Oh, fuck yeah. I just saw something prompt on my screen. That was weird. Okay, report meadow. God damn it. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Don't know. Just stopped coming out. Wait, there's a fire there, though. Wait, are these the same guys? Because they left their bags here. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. I'll save that for later. <laughs> yeah. It is them. Confiscate. This is mine now. Also mine now. Oh my goodness. They left their packs tied up here. The this is going pretty good, Viz. Lake. Yeah, them. Just trying to like trying a new game out. Pretty excited about it. Confiscate bags. Oh man. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. 
Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I'm not trying to get drunk right now. I'll get drunk later. <laughs> They're not great, no. Yeah, people are worse. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Trying to steal as well. Uh, listen, I'm confiscating. There's a difference. Oh, oh. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. <laughs> uh, there are uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> Fucking Delilah. You're such a bitch. Hey. Wowee! Ooh la la! Uh, background voice is messing me up. Gonna continue watching the Reddit stream. All right, sounds good, Cat. Have a good one. Wait. There's a. Ooh. Yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Delilah. Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone. But there's, you know. Two. Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and <laughs> do your job. Okay. Wait, DMCA. Fa la 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 fa la 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 fa la 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 la. I found them in the lake. Okay, turn this off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that a guy over there? Gold stereo. Oh, hey, put that down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seriously, it was you, you asshole. Light another firework, and it won't be your stereo, Iraq. Sorry. Oh, fuck you, psycho. Yeah, fuck you. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. I want to see if they disappeared. I'm not trying to look at them naked, chat. I'm just kind of curious how the fuck they disappeared. I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Have you even harassed them? I know. Some I threw away their speaker, though. Property took a swim. <laughs> uh, can't do anything about it now. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Nope. Thanks for dealing with him, though. Seriously. No problem. Wait. How do I get back? This way? This way. Now wait till they find out that I stole their panties and bras. <laughs> get wrecked, skinny dippers! They almost burnt down the forest for real. Oop. <laughs> Mine now. This is a souvenir. Wait, did he actually take it? Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's like, I'm kidding. <gasps> Butterfly. Oh, yeah, R to run. Are any of these not empty? What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. <laughs> you don't like a cold muscoil light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Ozzy, I will make fun of everything I can. You have to understand. Wait, can I clean this all out? Oh, well, that sounds like the right thing to do. Right. Hold on. I have to do my part. There we go. I feel much better about myself. Better for the environment? Fuck ya, yeah, bud. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. Oh, oh yeah. Cause... Back towards the lake and then turn north towards the canyon. 
Wait, what'd she say? I just completely ignored everything. Uh, okay, so from these rocks, where do I go again? Go back towards the lake, turn north, and east through the canyon. There should be a trail at the far east side of it. Okay. Chrono lives up to his high honor, for sure. Just wait till those two women have cardiac chrono. And never go drunk and skinny dipping again in their lives. Because he'll have ended. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. <gasps> um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. Wait, is this not the direction I was supposed to go? Well, no surprise there. I'm not good at following instructions. I'm sure you are far aware, well aware of that. Okay, so let's go down here. I think I was actually supposed to go to the camp, to the lake, and then take a right to go north. West to be towards the camp. North to be east of the direction towards west. Okay. So sassy? Yeah, she's really sassy. The north. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption or <laughs> consumption? Not if they're not nineteenth century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. <laughs> I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. Idiot ass kids. This is a, I mean, I know I just started, but it's a little, little bit of a step away from the entire situation introduced at the beginning of the game. Okay. It's kind of pretty so, though. I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, oh, look, let she's me trying to be normal. To your lookout. Hey, Adrian, thanks for following. Shit, I knew I didn't do something. Uh... Sorry. Now I should hear alerts. My bad. Hi. At least I saw the alert. Oh. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. That's where I'm going. That's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Wait, what? I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice Sorry. and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Oh. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes that's you feel better, what killed him? What killed him? The bear. Suicide. Did oh, believe? that's not what I wanted to hear either. It's actually a true story, really? Oh, interesting. Oh, fuck ya, yeah, but it doesn't work. Well, ah. okay, it works. Oh, oh. God. oh fuck, you save that. Oop, in you go. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I didn't do that for the last one. Shit. I gotta go back to that one eventually then. Okay. What's in this cave down here? In he survived seven lightning strikes? Thunder That's crazy, canyon. man. Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave, I don't know, rocks, 
NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. <laughs> Let's go. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Hello? It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fucked, Delilah. <laughs> this cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes nice. sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Right? Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. I forgot my name's actually Hank. I hope I hit the cache on the way home so I can record that map data. That's what she gets? Oh, for sure. Hello? There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's so when's the there's Wendigo coming out to kill you for knowing him? Oh, someone no. Told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Okay. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. <laughs> yeah, okay. I fuck get it. it, Delilah. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> You're such a fucking ass. You're such a ass, Delilah. Wee. Why is she like that? Some people are just born that way. Trust. Uh, wait, man. Wait, what? Oh, those must just be paths. 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 Uh, so either way goes the same one. Okay, cool. I'm gonna follow where the dude went. Cause I'm nosy. I thought I was gonna get outlasted and fucking pushed off the cliff on my last step. Probably been out alone in the wilderness for years. He had a working flashlight. Some people just like being sassy. I mean, it's basically a, a female version of me. <laughs> Chrono being an ass? No, 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 no. Unlikely story. Trail closed. Oh, so this man doesn't read signs, does he not, huh? Oh, probably oh. idiot. Yep, that's gonna get someone killed. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. It's too... <laughs> Sir, that's that's not what you did. <laughs> ah. Hello. Yep. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so. What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. I'm just gonna act like that never happened. 
minus two honor points? Oh no. Uh. Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside, outside of my of tower. tower. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? Did... You should get inside. Fuck me. <gasps> you bitch. Someone broke in. They what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. <laughs> Why are you clogging your own toilet? Listen here. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the forest service know what happened. Is this the boyfriend? Is it because I broke his whatever? At least he didn't touch my picture. You fucking better not touch my picture. I'll find your way. This strikes at two. Birds of Wyoming. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. Yeah, well. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Probably that guy. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Right. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Hmm. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. <laughs> yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. That's fair. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Grenades. I like him. It's probably those people you met in the lake. Yeah, but they didn't know the way back. That dude was actually towards the direction of my camp. You know what I mean? Gordon Moogan. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Hmm. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if we need it. Oh, you're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I need <laughs> you to do, though, is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. Yes, that it's not my name. rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. <laughs> no, no, it, it doesn't actually. Clortox. <laughs> Dr. President. Space Puffs. Sterilix. Oh, it's like Skrillex. May 1989. Hey, that's pretty close to my birthday. I mean, the year is close. I'm old. Did you design this character? Same humor? It might actually be me. Listen here, it's not that old, Ozzy. All right. Okay. All right, it's pretty old. Okay, this is in the right direction. Where is my outhouse? That's what I use directionally. There we go. Okay. And it was this way. There should be a down sign. Huh? 
What? That's not where I left you. It's a big ass drop. What the fuck? Not the age shaming? I know, not not here. Please, I feel old enough. Chrono's not old, he's wise. That is a nice but false sentiment. <laughs> I am well versed in life, but does not make me wise. Whee! Pretty sure there might be percentage of chat is older than Chrono. I think actually most of my chat is is relatively older, actually. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Oh. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Used to just spend a lot of time with our dog Bucket. Oh, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. You're part of the percent that I isn't. I don't think so. Why have you? Okay, good. Oh. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like... Like your wife, or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... Oh. I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Oh, here. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So, follow the rope. Right. Is there a cache nearby? I should probably check that. I think I remember seeing one on the map. Old outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right <laughs> area. I do believe, uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Hmm. His new name is Hank, so it's Crank? Wait, what? <gasps> I have a hat now. Oop. This was a waste of a supply. There's not even a map. Okay. Do I need to get that prompt again? There it is. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Chenry? Oh, no. Hello. Okay, then. Oh, well. Looks like it got all burned down. Somehow the plates avoided all fire. <laughs> he opened that with a fucking passion. Burn bed. I think lightning strike hit it. I was actually really expecting to find something in here. Did that say Korean veteran? I don't, I don't see it. The cache was useless.
Gotta follow the wire. That is a long trail. At least it won't be hard to get back. Looks like a... Ooh! A box. Nothing says, yep, let's take the stairs like a burned down decaying cabin. Listen here. I am a man with an iron will. A will of iron. Gib. Copy information. What does that say? To mule lookout and two forks lookout. Cash 302. Read. Cute. Uh, Dave, hey, oh, I got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. I figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how you could really help anyways. So we're coworkers, you know, amigos professionales. If you need someone to throw a case back with, go time traveling, Roger guy. I'm not great with the live stuff. You get it later on? You make my day with you, but good. I don't know how to be any different, so. <laughs> so just pinecone and that's it? All right, well, I got the map information, so that's good. There's one thing you can always rely on this channel is that I will always be myself. Kek dub. It's peaceful? It is real peaceful. I did hear like wood cracking in the background though, and I have this really bad uh, thing of not wanting to encounter a bear while I'm playing in the forest, so uh, you know. Wait, the women were here. Wrong button. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me. I That's never why your viewers love and support you? Oh, thanks. Drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Hmm. Ooh, that's a drop. Ow. Not sure if you guys have ever done a drop like that, but man, does that fucking send a thing down your, your spine. Oh my god, dude. Are these girls really fucked up? Are they... Think they did something to the wire? Killer woman? Oh my god. It actually was them. <laughs> she threw on her panties. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Uh, well... What do you mean? Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What oh, do you want to do? Yeah, yeah, I that's want how you people to go die. Find them. And then what? And kill I, them. I haven't thought that far ahead. Oh. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> mm, teenage them. people would just Thanks. be rebellious and fuck your shit up even more. Don't hold your breath. I'd start by 
hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. So I'm assuming I can't set that on fire and tell them to go fuck themselves. Oh, I see the path they took. What a bunch of assholes for sure. Is this the right way? I think it is. Oh. In and up the environment, cause I'm a fire watcher. Clean up the environment, I'm a fire watcher. Hey, is this way? No beer can. Probably this way. Maybe. I don't see any beer. I think it all goes the same way, though. These teenagers cut a line, trash his lookout, and can throw back beers every five steps. <laughs> right? It's actually fucking crazy. Some kids are born dumb. I mean, most people are born dumb, so. <laughs> There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Mm -hmm. Brian Goodwin? Oh, that's my eyes. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his hmm. dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. <laughs> they took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Right. Not many can. Unsurprising. <laughs> anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Down I go. Hopefully not eating shit again. Mm -hmm. Not eating shit. That's good. Aha! Found it. That's a lot of rope. Wait. This can't be the right way, right? There's no way the fucking kids got down here. You know what I mean? One, two, three, four. Uh, I guess he's going to go out with Debbie next week. No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for Ellos. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock... Having himself in, having himself in that ham. Oh, started to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted, except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. Okay. 
Fossilized claw. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> I'll leave that in there. Just stone? Okay. Looks like a raptor claw. That's what I thought. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You think it's them? I reckon so. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Where am I? Five Mile Creek? Did I go to that supply drop? I don't think I did. Shit. I should have gone that way first. Uh, is that worth going back to? I'm assuming supply drop is probably something good. That's a lot of effort to go back. Where's Five Mile Creek? Way the fuck over there? Holy shit. Show hurts when you fall in it in real life. I wouldn't want to jump down that either. Yeah. So I'm assuming we'll just go south. And then our grapple can probably let me down. And we can head down. Okay, so let's go south. This game is far shorter than what you remember. I mean, they told me it's only like three, four hours. We not gonna report all the shit's burnt or or what? Well, I guess if this sign survived, it's probably old burn. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa, how old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. Fuck. Yeah. Mm. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating, especially for her, you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah, I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. That's rough, man. Character's basically Chrono, just has a different voice. <laughs> I had a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I a chotch. Really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. <laughs> Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? <laughs> it's beautiful! Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. I like him. <laughs> He's like me. And I do like being me. <laughs> Am I going in the right direction? Honestly, I kind of stopped paying attention. I need to check my map. But I'll tell you that later when I'm in the middle of nowhere. Or you said it began at 31. Fuck. 
Yeah, dementia that early on. That's that's rough. I don't think yeah, I don't think I captured this earlier. So I can head what the fuck's that? Edison wheel? Let's see south and see what the fuck that is. Honestly, anything bad happening at that young of an age. That's rough, man. What is this? Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in it? August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Hey, I'm at the Medicine Wheel, and I can't see the smoke anymore. Where am I headed again? Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in oh, the southwest I corner. I can't see it. What? Okay, heading over there now. Uh, quickly, um... Chat, who I use is Google. What the fuck is Medicine Wheel? <laughs> Gonna lurk and uh, cook some breakfast? No problem. Also breakfast at 4 p.m.? I mean, hey, live whatever the fuck life you want to live. I'm just, you so, know, it's how'd you crazy. Meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Stone Circle built north by North American Indians believed to have religious astronomical tutorial and calendarific significance. Interesting. Very interesting. So I'm here. Yeah, this should bring me there. Down, and I should find a cache on the way there. Okay. Uh, medicine wheel is a sacred symbol used by the indigenous plains tribes to represent all knowledge of the universe. Symbol of hope and movement towards healing for those who seek it. Oh, that's interesting. Also Google sourced? Nice. Those are both really cool. It's sad you have Native American line, uh, lineage and you didn't know what a medicine wheel was. Yeah. We don't use them nowadays. It's not really too of a surprise we don't you know, make use of all that knowledge. Yeah, there's a lot of shit that's like common nowadays and I still don't know what the fuck about it. As you could say, I'm old. I don't know half the shit words kids use nowadays. Your DNA stuff just got updated and your European as can be. Nice. It's cool to know your lineage. Missing person. Read. Um, age 31, Mike Schmickles, 6'2", 165 pounds. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Genesee Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He's the first reported missing on July 29th by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area, which was seen. Maybe he's the one. Maybe he's the man. I will hold that. Fuck is this? 
There is a delight in the hearty life of the open. Theodore Roosevelt. Interesting. Pinecone crap. Did I get the map data? I did. Ramen helped a little bit, and you're starting to feel like shit again. Oh no. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, God, I miss lush. Ramen. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Nope. I didn't. I mean, I did, yeah, but... Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of, the game. of nope. years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? <laughs> also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Got it. Feel like you're gonna throw up? It always helps me if I feel like I'm gonna throw up to just sit in a warm shower. I don't know if it'll help you, but it definitely helps me. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Okay, I'm not sure that's the greatest advice. <laughs> site and it looks like they've got a fire is it them <laughs> those are my like sheets you son of a bitch of beer out here track them down and don't let them see you what a job this is ah found my sheets so they did break into your tower looks like take, take are you not taking your sheets back okay dude I have entered the teen zone. <laughs> oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. <laughs> what on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here, a full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. Mm -hmm. That is some dedication. Fucking kids, man. Fucking kids, man. Oh, that's not good. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. No, it's not good at all. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Oh, there's a letter. Dear Psycho. I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us at the lake. They came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer. You're still going to jail. Uh, I didn't steal your panties. Uh oh. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Oh. Uh, I need to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? Yes. No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. <laughs> this is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's its okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's not that's not how issues like police just don't disappear. 
It's not like just because they can't report right now doesn't mean they can't report later. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Find boards downstairs to patch the window. Got it, got it. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Hmm? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> like Burt Reynolds. Do you know Raleigh Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. Oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> oh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. Arr! Okay. <laughs> what okay, the fuck? Well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Why did oh she roar? God, you are the whitest Wait, is roaring not, not normal nowadays? <laughs> I don't need a spotting <laughs> scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Listen, she's not wearing this normal. That's Close. me. Close. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I think she's I memeing. Got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh. Hmm. My nose has been broken. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. Oh, All it's right. literally right there. I'm blind as hell. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You what? Mm. Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't, don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. No, oh, that's just like being real life tired. They look Sorry, tired. I got really excited about that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person. It's me! It's me! Oh, speak for yourself, mister. <laughs> but I guess that's getting old. It's well, me. some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. So where the fuck oh, are you staring at me from? Window's all patched up. So right. what should I do now? What's next? What? What's next? What do you think is next? Where are you? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days <gasps> straight. Wait, I just see it. What's Over there? next is you sit in that room until uh -huh. September first and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task, and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping Gotta this love national the doppelganger chrono safe for sure. from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Hmm? You know, I'm going to hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How are those precious few seconds? Henry's in his early 40s. Oh, okay, oh, sir, I'm not that old. Magical. Is Cronova giant beard? No, I'm very clean shaven. I hate beards. I can't stand my face itching it at all. I lose my mind. In fact, before I started stream, I took a shower to shave it all off. Hello, nope. Henry. Having a nice afternoon? It is a nice, uh, nice view, isn't it? I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens oh, no. and Lily McLean, were Wait. reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Wait. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh, shit. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? What the fuck? 
I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. I like her lack of, uh... Lack of, like... Law and rules and stuff like that, but that's a little bit too avoidant of... Henry. Rules, you know what I mean? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. That's not good. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. You're a big dumb idiot. Wait, oh, talk to Julia. Baby. You sound tired. Oh, this is a different voice. Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. This isn't Delilah. This oh, is Julia. Mm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Oh. I saw Pan in red pain. Is that what it's come to? <laughs> I was like, oh wait, I know that word pain. Oh, that says pan. Ah, now it's sending me to get Is it too get much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that Toxic. Work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Yeah, it is actually. Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. Nope, taking it all. Loads of good stuff though: beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise fuck? about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> Hydrate? Hold on, let me get up these these two so, things. Like two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules. Oh, he walls. was asleep. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, Javier. Incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. Am I going the right way? And I was sure I was going I'm to marry not even Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to Wait. get out of town, drink whiskey no. in the mountains, cut Where the fuck is this letting me? <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason... <sighs> I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take oh, care of his mom, stuff order. like that. It'd oh, be this easier is solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And uh, wait, what? What about neighbor? For some reason, I wanted you to know. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Uh, which one am I again? Two forks. Found the supplies. Okay. She lied about uh, 
Enjoy. Maybe you're fucking your neighbor? Oh. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? No, you should always overhydrate compared to underhydrate. That's a fire. A front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something. Yeah, she's called Delilah. A little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Please tell me I can call Delilah. <laughs> uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. <laughs> You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it too, actually. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? You're going to say skinny dipping. What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, okay. plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. Ooh. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. Fair. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. Did she already call for the fire? I think she did. Oh. That's an option. Uh, 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 uh. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. God damn it. I just went down. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Is this supposed to be a getting over story? I feel like that's what it's supposed to be. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much Viz, as I you need to take you. care of yourself. Hydration's huge. Not in the same way. Everyone needs to take care of them. Everyone, I take a drink. Really take a drink of water. But I want you to know, well, maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um. Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm, I'm oh. just having the thought. I wish I was over there. She's, uh... She's making her moves. I wish you were too. Oh. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these <laughs> I don't mind we if I do. Um, oh. You know. Uh. What? What could we do? Well. Uh. Let me tell you. Uh. Uh. <laughs> fishing without a license it's one fish and i'm sick of all the stuff i got to eat well i won't tell anyone you're a poacher <laughs> that reminds me i keep hearing reports from fish and game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find there was a crew burning fire lines out to the east and um you know i think sometimes it riles up the wildlife Uh, does problem actually mean murder? <laughs> like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Right. Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. Can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank I you, like Henry. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It's basically me. He's me. Also, look how clean this place is. Remember when I cleaned this? Hell yeah. Plus two honor, let's go. High honor gameplay, high honor gameplay. 
Red Dead Redemption story. Hi, on a gameplay. I'm Arthur. Hello? What the... Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Oh. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless of oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Henry, are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. <gasps> you know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Shit. Meadow. It's, it's on our map. Yeah. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north hey, ladies, of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Yeah, are report you, to the authorities, maybe. Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers, and they came back to sucker punch you. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, oh. four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. We should leave would be the smarter thing to do. We should just get the hell out of here. Yeah. Oh, it's a two-day hike. You're welcome to do it, but you're going to catch hell from the service and have to explain yourself. Plus, there's a fire burning across Rose Creek. You hiked through there on the way in. Call someone and tell them to come get me. I'm not going to book a $15,000 helicopter ride for you. I'm not doing it. Okay, we, Damn. we can't freak out. There's got to be a reasonable explanation. And maybe you just got this. murdered, but we can't right. spend money on you. You're right. I'll, I'll head to Wapiti Meadow, but I swear, if this gets worse, you better get on the horn and get us out of here. I'll call around and see if anything weird is happening to anyone else, okay? Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. She really cares, but not enough to get me out of this shit. Okay, dude. So we can head north, northwest to grab a cache, and then northeast, north, northeast to get to the station. This way? Yeah, like, this isn't a problem. No big. Just got literally fucking destroyed. Um, beat the shit out of me while hiding from me. Uh, totally not suspicious. I don't know, maybe it was the bear. Fucking... That's a That's a bullshit. Ron got some bad news uh, back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are? Did you get my note about what went down in Opati? Oh, interesting. Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you 
would have been there. I guess she must have got hung up. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionales is Italian. Interesting. It's probably one of those guys, yeah? Should have cardiac him? Oh, for, for real. University of Eastern Colorado. Uh, this is not the kind of book that I want to see uh, with some dude probably trying to murder me. Uh, an emergency landing after a murder in first class. Put Oh, no. Oh, no. This is... Uh... This is not the book that I want someone who's uh, looking at me to be reading. <laughs> it's in North Northwest. Or North Northeast, sorry. Swimming just doesn't want to be questioned why she's been flirting with a married man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, being assaulted in the, the wilderness with no one there for possibly hours or days is normally not a good thing. Hey, Gun, thanks for the follow. Just got a prompt for something. Here it is. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link yeah. fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes yeah. off in both directions. Acres. Is this the what, same what dude? What the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a... Feet, You're using bots have fun with life. What this is. <laughs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get past this. Stone? Yeah, that's not gonna do shit. Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. Get over here! God, if hey, you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are mm -hmm. they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Wait, where am I supposed to go? I I completely ignored everything that they were saying. What were the names? I think they followed in another stream too. Um, G U N F nine, G U N P nine, and G U N Q nine. It's probably another one of those hotspots. That'd be my bet. Yeah, there's no way to. Three bots, uh, three people named almost like identical followed my channel at the same time. It's probably bots. I'm sure they're going to post some URL link and then hope one of you guys clicks on it or have me click on it. They might be moving in to do this spam thingy. Yeah, I can always turn a bot on if they do and it'll just auto ban all those accounts. They might do some false bans, but it saves me from having to deal with that bullshit. <sighs> Different variations in other streams. Imagine having a PP so small you have to act that way. Okay, so south of Ruby River. Where the fuck is Ruby River? There it is. There's the scout camp. Oh, that's a way away. Holy fuck. So head south east south and east and then all the way south
I think no, Goosty actually got a Hoss raid. Bots could also be here to gather data. Normally, the bots that gather data, they don't, um, they don't follow. There's no reason for them to, for them to see chat. So the data miners do it different ways. That's probably just some feelers to see whether or not I have band detection for those named that same way. So for anyone running any of those bots, it does cost some, some like IO space cost. So they would normally send out probes to see whether or not those immediately got banned. And then they know not to spend the cost of actually doing a hate raid. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound See, like people nothing. have nothing better to do. Nothing. Nah, they, their life is miserable. Right. It's the only I'm form of entertainment the they anyway. get. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... I feel like you'd enjoy the thought. gas station stimulator. I'd I, give it I a don't try. I know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No. I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Swimming's too chill? Yeah. Toons did play it. His, his videos are great. He's been trying a whole bunch of simulators recently. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that... If anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. Just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <sighs> I think it's the pervert dude? He's in a simulator rush? Oh, for sure. Well, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? Jesus, that's no, huge. that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it Straight out? South. Not yet, apparently. You know, ironically, I found out... Well, I guess not ironically, but... Interestingly enough, I found out firefighter job isn't necessarily to... To quell the fire, because it's so hard to actually control fires. It's to stop... Kind of put a line in the ground of where the fire stops, but you just they just let the fire go. And they do their best to prevent its movement as not as much as putting out a fire. I thought that was really interesting. Yeah, it's something I didn't know, but it's, it's super interesting. It's just how they do it. Uh, read. A raw and willy wish, uh, really wish the powers that could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I prefer to keep things pen and paper, but once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. Fair. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of Fives instead. Miss you, Dave. Oh. Keep. In Terminal 7. Get down, Conda. Boop. Oh, 
toilet paper pine cone. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of all these books having murder and guns related to them, if I'm being entirely honest. Uh, and killers. Uh, hmm. Yeah, not not really feeling too good about the situation. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. They also do other stuff for any safety precautions a few weeks ago. Want to ride front house? Has a car flipped over? Interesting. Yeah. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Wait, south, southeast, or south? South, south, south southeast. Have you seen the movie Only the Brave? I have not. Ooh, what's this? Hey, I found a pair of old total snowmobiles out here. It looks like someone stripped them of a bunch of parts. Huh. And that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Some, oh, I get it. Fight. Oh, okay, fire. Okay. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. <laughs> True, Beware actually. In large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. True. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Hey, you zoned out. Thanks for the follow. I see what I see, right? That looks like it was intentionally cut. It also looks like it was intentionally cut. Or they just used the same model. Well. Yeah, this looks dangerous. Why not? Oh, I can't climb it. Fair. I thought it would be there. You want me to do this jump? Nope. something wrong oh long drop down okay that's not good now how the fuck do I get back maybe that chop down tree I was talking about earlier probably you ever talked to any of the scouts mm, no they haven't been out here in a while and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens unless it's Brian Goodwin well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun <laughs> to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards, Hey, let's go. Rats, you know. Ugh. What do you mean, hey, oof? Thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. Hey, let's go. What? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting. Oh no, I cut off D and D talk. Damn. Ooh. Do you see what I see? This is exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> I'm sorry. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow, 
I'm 99% sure that's for burying poop. I am going to leave it here. Nope. Yep. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's... Uh... Um... Dr. Simmons at Watapi Station. Squad boss car soon. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of Shonoshana National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. Writing on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Watapi Station, he reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Finally, returned someone from his office will want to speak to you as part of the wildfire risk assessment for the region. I told them that they have nothing to worry about because your team's firefighters are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site. Even though they'll be more than my way, but I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service. It's like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Interesting. That's what we were just talking about. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. My mother always said <laughs> I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a I like him. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. Minus two humor points? Listen here. That was hilarious. That, that we don't <laughs> what are they researching? Oops, wrong button. Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers Ooh. who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Mike Mitchells. Is this the one we read before? Uh, Blue and white Ford. Yeah, yeah, same one. Interesting. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. <laughs> I like her. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Man, some people don't have humor like that. Big sad. Humor's so rare nowadays. Okay. Bump. Timber. And go. Up. I'm wholesome. Let's go. Are you there? I I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so mm. uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um there isn't any way someone like another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh shit. Uh oh. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello. 
sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? She feels like she changed. I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sun up. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day this day. She been. okay? Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is. I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower. What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Oh, this is a secret. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. Mm. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Shit. I didn't answer. Fuck, sorry. Yep. I don't think it's suspicious. He's trying to get us away. Oh, look at this. Sorry. Boop. This is a very interesting story. I'm not sure what I'm going to expect coming up. To be honest, like, the story is quite intriguing. Cottonwood Creek. Donde S. Oh, it's back down where we were. So south near the burn. And south. I'm speaking in Morse code. Long, short, short, long, short. And if any of you guys are trying to decode what that is in Morse code, uh, it's garble because I don't understand Morse code. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Someone's probably staring at it like, I know what he's saying. I know what he's saying. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm saying, to be honest. Oh no, there's another one. Hello, bot. Number 14. I might want to turn my auto block bot on. I have this very weird feeling. Okay. Cruising your deluxe on GTA. Let's go. Yo, she's gonna give me another radio? That'd be real smart. Ski, what the fuck? There has to be something else near this tree, right? They want to just send me over here for no reason. Right? not really any information. I assumed it would be the big tree. That seems to be the biggest sign. Okay. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. Oh, God, Creek. you just said it. You see the cash box there? 
Uh, must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Oh. <laughs> Another radio? Please be smart. <laughs> Let's go. When FBI informants need protection, you call the police. When informants wind up dead, you call Neil Black. Neil Black is stabbed in the back. Who'll be the one holding the carved knife? One thing is for sure, it's not the farmer's wife. Uh -huh. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger. Hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? Uh, Wait. This is just happening. Are you in the wrong us. direction? Everyone else is fine. Isn't it up here? Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no. This isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. What's so special about Henry? I don't know. I'm so interested in, though. The story's getting juicy. So how far do I have to go again? Uh, I just thought of something not, um, So not west great. towards the lake. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones oh, that no. went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know, and... I didn't. I, I I just didn't want to be hassled. And mm. now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. Yep. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Which is illegal. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Wait, 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 let me respond. But fuck, Delilah. Fuck indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, it's not that hard to just not lie. I mean, it's, it's really not that hard to not lie. Doesn't take much effort either, believe it or not. You just you just don't lie. <laughs> well, we. Okay. Uh, I just heard an, something. It's just an elk. It's not scary. It? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or yeah. it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? <laughs> Luckily, I know what that is. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that could also be one of those hunting horns they use. They use those noises to sound... Kind of like that. Not super like that, but 
pretty close. Deer whistle. Uh, is this the right way? Oh, I head north, north, uh, north, northwest. I say northeast. Sorry. Wait. No, west. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. West, northwest. Oh, I know where we're at. This is where the first camp was. Sit down over here, then take a right. I should be right next to the gate. Who the fuck would be doing this shit though? And also why Why would the scientists take the panties? That's the weirdest part to me. Also, what the fuck happened to the kids? I guess I guess that's kind of the weird part. <laughs> Maybe even the missing kids is, is, is more was a little bit more weird. Yo, I never did go fishing. Okay, okay, let's go. What's going on, Jack? How you doing? How close are we? Okay, we're going the right way. Okay, fence. Here we go. Where's that lock? It's gonna be open, though. Okay, it's not. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <clears throat> yep, that would work. Bees, no! Bee plot? I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes. Fuck them of. kids for real. Uh, okay. You're loving I'm this game? Sorry. Awesome. I'm having a great time with it. Maybe he's allergic to bees. Pay attention. You're trying to reach Dr. Simmons. He's on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Kind of lead this plot line mess. Hey, what? Oh, the kids? This is scary. <laughs> Scary, scary. What the fuck? Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. There is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Hmm. It'd be a real shame if you had an axe to, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, shit. What's this? Well, they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? And there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. <laughs> How the hell did they get all this stuff out here? Right? The Army Corps of Engineers put our towers out here, so... You think it was the government? I have no idea. I, I just mean it's possible. I mean, 
Every once in a while, I'll be a lookout who's deep into that, hmm. like, black helicopter conspiracy shit. Maybe they actually flew it out here in one of those. Okay, so we got all over there. Let's get in here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I can't interact with it. You some bitch. Hard case. Wave receiver. The fuck does this do? Okay, using your Anderson Wayfire receiver, locate any strong signals. Green light equals target straight ahead, distance light signal, town equals sig source discovered. Wait, this isn't good. <laughs> I was like, why is it getting louder while I'm looking? Does this mean I found it? Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Earthquake monitor? Field generator Wednesday and Saturday. Frequent departure from T Fort's area, avoidance behavior consult previous data. Unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males. What the fuck? Oh shit, he has all of our frequencies. And we're all subjects. That's the one female. That must be her. Social role PE. Frequent departure. That must be me. I'm in their main tent. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. Got it. Please stop beeping. Oh, thank God. Oh, shit. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? Susceptibility to manipulation. Here. What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. Wait, what? We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Worst case scenario. Uh... Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Hmm. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? Hey, man, car thinks it's follow. I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, and that's maybe true. It's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Oh, I'm so fucking wound up. It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does, and then get the hell out. I feel like this is going to be jump scare soon. I mean, he did jump scare the shit of me earlier. Place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. Three. Interesting. I wonder what the fuck that would be. I was thinking maybe the girls, but the girls were just random. You know what I mean? 
there's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. <laughs> okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my, our people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's up there? I'm not sure, but I think so. It's up there. Okay, I think it's time for us to get the fuck out of here. Just kidding, what's up here? <laughs> Sorry, I get easily distracted. Uh, we really should get the fuck out of this place. Also, they're probably not gonna like the fact that I just stole all their shit, including a black box. Ha 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 ha. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh bitch. Oh, shit. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Shit. Do we just treat it like a normal fire? We just call it in like any other fire. person who started it yeah we're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us I, I i don't know what to do about that except get the hell out yes get us the hell out of here i will mm -hmm. are they framing henry and delilah i don't know Is listening to us would you spend the time to do that <laughs> what the fucking weird. They want it back. Who else are they following? This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a freak. Frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. This is you know such what a... I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. I was gonna say, Are she sounded drunk? a little bit chocolate wasted. No, I am getting drunk. <laughs> Good plan. thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may it's not like there's any proof we were down there my thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver Ooh, I like it when you think <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are Wait, why would you turn the radio off? You're an idiot. Were you planning playing this on PC? Good guy, Chrono, supporting his friends. Let's go! Oh, uh... Southwest. This seems like a really dumb idea. I'm also not filled with good ideas, so you know. Fuck. Am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, the medicine wheel. That, that'd be my bet. Good ideas are for Trumps. True story. Thinking? <laughs> Couldn't it be me? Oh shit! Ah. Am I supposed to turn this off? Quiet, please. Huh. One second. Never mind. So, uh. <gasps> I know what that's for! That's the cave! D, I, I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has not spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. Oh, I am looking at shit. a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Uh, chat. Uh, I believe I'm currently in a forest, not in my tower. Uh, not necessarily sure why I'm running at a man in my lookout tower, but that also sounds like a really horrible idea. But I also have a very small brain, so I'm going to <laughs> going anyways. Oh, they probably wanted to pick up the tracker. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. Hmm. Oh shit. Sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Fuck. going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Oh shit. Um 
So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. <laughs> us? <laughs> we just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. What's this? The fuck, what's the point of that? So Delilah... 43. Wait, is he? she older than me? Hey, she is! Let's go, Delilah! Rel uh, Reliant, observant, charismatic, selfish, good perception of personal history, never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings, multiple lover despite long term partner, Javier. Three on the susceptibility to manipulation. Which is weird because she's the one freaking out. My guy's not. Subject may be aware of test. Suggests we disengage if subject decides to leave post. Interesting. How do I give the force to Snickers? Wait, what? <laughs> Reading? <laughs> Listen here. There's a story and I must find it. I must find the solution. And since we are on probably the most interesting part of the story, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to order food too. I'm back. Did you get the audiobook? Listen here, I am the audiobook. <laughs> Listen, none of you guys had to read that yourselves. You're welcome. How do I put this away? What? Put, put it... Oh, I hate you. <laughs> okay, so over there... Oh, wait. No, this way, right? No, no, this way, this way, this way. So I actually need to head north, northeast, into the cave. I almost went the wrong way. Alright, that's not it. Look, it's north. Oh, that replaces my compass. Well, that sucks. I actually prefer the old compass. Oh, let's see, this is the landmark I was looking for. Jokes on you. Name's Jared, 19. Never learned how to fucking read. Listen here, you didn't have to read. Ha! You're right, nerd. Jokes on you. If you can't read, then I made all those words up. That's not even what it said. <laughs> fucking imagine. <laughs> I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks. Fuck. It is, is key? Why is it not lit up? There we go. God, if he approaches entering keys like that, his partner's gonna have a bad time. <laughs> what the hell? It's locked, isn't it? 
I got myself locked in here, didn't I? Hmm. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Uh, Delilah, shit. send someone to the cave, please! I can't get any damn reception. It's almost like the key was there as a trap. But no, they wouldn't do that. Attaching a key to a cave that you'd know no one had access to and putting an alarm behind it. Hmm. It's freezing in here. Nah, that wouldn't happen. Is oh, anybody shit. down there? That's going to be the kid oh, with his dad. Oh, shit. I could be wrong. Wait, should I have gone back? Just check for the... Keep going. I want to hear your theory. I don't have a theory other than that might be the shoe of the kid. And they did the same thing, except they went down that way. And they're dead. I think they're dead. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone Wait. was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real oh, So castle. the kid's still good. All right. Okay, that's some climbing shit. Let's go. Toy. Uh, Dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it could be... If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me? Brian Goodwin, mail, my address is 55 Foxtrot, Lane North, Platte, Nebraska, 9, or 69101. Tell me your name and address. I'll give you your word for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's and I don't want him to lose them, but I do want, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip. So I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone would be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger Brian. Yes, the reward will be good. For, you're like five. There's no way you have a good reward. <laughs> oh, let's go D&D. &D. See what class were you? Half Elf Ranger, okay. 29 years old, 5'8, 135. It's actually really light. It's like, wait, is this droid? <laughs> uh, let's see, what's his strength? 15? Alright, that's not droid. Kappa, I'm kidding, droid, I love you. Still the leather. Oh, you can see they did some campaigns. They got all the damage marks. Longsword, throwing dagger, battle axe, short sword. Wait. Ranger. Ranger. Where's your bow? Okay, dude. Actually, imagine. Not conventional, interesting, but wrong. Pass maximum voltage too high. Radio Goodwin with Brian and Ned. Wait a second. 
Wait, is this his dad? The one that's been spying on us? Because there's no way he has all this knowledge of this shit when it comes to high high end technology. Ooh. Ooh. Dear Mr. Zackler, with my dad in Lander, Wyoming, it's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. Sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. Look, it is helpful to know, to know fucking cursive kids. I found an old school folder. <laughs> Brian was a hell of a doodler. You're dead. Wait, that's... Oh, dude, that's fucking... Yo, that's Freddy Krueger. Let's go. Excuse me. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project. Sounds like this kid really wanted to leave. Yeah. Meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? <laughs> it wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as That's you smart to take to remember to keep job. his homework? Yeah, well, but if he's lost, her, then he couldn't have taken uh, it. Call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. <laughs> Sorry, boss. How ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people to far away. Oh, wait, is this turning into an alien movie? No. Void second person, it's too conversational for science. That's fair. To bounce off of and let you use your radio much better than normal off of what? If you are wrong, it is real, it is science. Are these your own are these your own words, Brian? <laughs> yeah, that's not his thing. MSC is a radio propagation mode that utilizes ionos trails of meteors within their atmospheres. Meteors upon their atmospheric entry can create a dense path of ionized particles that the ham radio operator can use to establish reef communication paths between operators up to one thousand miles away. Holy shit. I'm going to test this by having a small chat with an old friend my dad made in the army who lives in Albuquerque. Wow. Mexico, 1,000 miles from my house. We're going to try to talk at a regular time, but my hypothesis is that it won't work and we can we have to wait for another meter shower to establish communication. Interesting. Oh, hold on. So his So oh, so there's something above where I got his backpack. Probably a way out. Okay. But it wants me to actually explore, right? So go back into the cave. Wait, no, it was a, it was a far drop. I don't think I can get back in that cave from here. Yeah, that's that's pretty high. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go all the way back around. Was he supposed to use the backpack as a signal to find his way home and he fucked him over? No. So something I never told you or anyone about Brian in regards to him being out here, you know, being against the rules. I. Uh... They almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Hmm. Have you ever played this before? No, first playthrough. 
I have no idea what's going on. Or the story, or basically anything. Okay, so I am there. I need to go back south to the cave. Oh, this is south. Cool. Oh, uh, Wait a second. also, those girls turned up. Okay, Looks good. Like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh... <laughs> Just fucking girls, man. I mean, good. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Hold on, do we want to... Hold on. Where was the kid's backpack? Wasn't it? I don't remember. It was somewhere near the cave. I'm wondering if I need to do his pulley thing, but no, I don't think so. You'll be in for a surprise. Oh man, I can't wait. I'm gonna head back into the cave. I'm gonna do enough pondering of wondering where the backpack is. Should I be a pulley? I'm sure it'll direct me there if I need to get there. Would never do anything bad. <laughs> Onto a pulley system to retrieve them later to keep them safe. Probably something that will kill me. So, you know, just sort of getting myself right with God or whatever there is. Henry. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? God damn. Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yeah, why not? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Honestly, if like we were in a situation like this, there's no way I would deal with kids. They put you in so much shit. They're always the ones that scream when you specifically tell everyone to get quiet. No, 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 no. Nope. I tell the parents to handle them. <laughs> Have fun. How'd you get the key back? Wasn't it stuck on the door? No, I think I put it back in my pocket. And then he closed the, closed the gate on me. So I still had the key. I just couldn't unlock it from the other side. Missing something? Oh. Yo, his knees would be absolutely fucked after doing this many falls. My ankles would be in pain. Oh, shit! Ah, shit. Are you... Oh, God. You fell. You're Brian Goodwin. Oh, no. God. Aww. Poor kid. Oh, no. I liked him. Oh, if he stands up right now, I'm Ulta fouring. <laughs> I just want you to know if he stood up right then or walked towards me, I'd Ulta for and call it a night. Legs that are broke after the first jump for sure. Yo, poor kid. Where the fuck's the dad in all this? Wait, is he the one studying? Why the fuck no? Because if it was his dad, wouldn't he recover the body and not be a piece of shit? You know what I mean? I don't know who the fuck that could be. I mean, it has to be some sort of government work. No one has that advanced technology. Especially back then. Huh. 
I hate climbing up up like cliffs in video games because it literally makes me think of Outlast every fucking cliff or fear. Oh my god, please stop making me climb down things. Oh, it's the entrance. And there goes my knees. Wait, so what's the f- Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, I am. Um, I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. About what? You're freaking me out. He's in there. What are you saying, Henry? The only thing in the cave is Brian. He's dead. His body is in the cave, Delilah. <sighs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. Oh. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Wait, is it is? Whoever locked you definitely didn't want you to find the body. I mean, maybe they didn't know. But I'm wondering if it's the dad trying to... get revenge? But I feel like he would just report it to the authorities. You know what I mean? That's the weird part. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I was heard just it. busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% oh, contained. Oh shit. Well, is this Holy the June fire fuck. or the site fire? Or... Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's gotta be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, shit. I wouldn't even know where to begin. There's the beeping. Well, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Wait. Uh, oh my god. How did she know? I don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. Oh, that was nice. I mean... Am I walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. Uh, I don't know what's going on. This is getting spooky. can't put it together you're back go something your dad get your dinner ready no big man thanks for coming to hang out 
you got things to do and I get it. I'm just here to play games. Is this going to be at the medicine circle? Because I got to swear this is like... They wouldn't have that there for no reason. It has to be at the medical circle. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an mm. emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. None of this makes sense, though. Oh, man. So, I was thinking maybe it's the dad, right? He's trying to make sure she gets revenge for not reporting the thing. But that doesn't make sense when it comes to the... the the suggestibility. You know what I mean? That doesn't make sense. It says Henry, doesn't it? Oh, fuck. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. I don't think the teenage girls are actually together. I think that was the people trying to get them away to get back to their um, experiments, I guess, the word on us. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, <gasps> oh, shit, it is Ned. Up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you got to know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about Shit. going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Okay, so was the dad? Not that oh, killed him, but... For me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. This isn't... Okay. What does it have to do with what this... What does that mean? Suggestibility report. It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just him. Ned Goodwin. He made the tape. Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. There's a clothesline. Okay. Important meeting? Oh. Oh. Wait. So if this was Ned's hut listening in on us... That's not the other hut looking in on us. Oh. To a rad bad mega dad. <laughs> oh no.
Research site info had to break in. So it wasn't his. He was breaking in. North fence, loose entrance, potty station. Staff returning August 1st. Erase H and D evidence. Leave no trace. Oh, so he burned it all down. Okay, never mind. So it was him. Okay. Delilah. Pertinent observe facts. Never fuck. Never fuck. Never fuck to Delilah. What? <laughs> what? What? Henry. Fuck guilty. Fuck. Fuck Henry. Not her, but him. Delilah. <laughs> what? <laughs> These are getting worse and worse. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Keeps to the path, passive, guilty, forthright. No kids have been. Oh, no. Would not be missed if removed. Supervisor's son, god damn it. Oh shit. This boombox looks familiar. From the girls. Yeah. I thought you threw it into the he lake. Did? Well, he must have fished it out. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. Mm, that's why he took apart the snowmobiles. Got it. Two ounce propane, pack of firewood, 400 pounds of food, two winter jackets, blankets. Socks, new boat, duct tape, try elk skin, summer, weight gain, goal, 35 pounds. That's a lot of weight. Oh, shit. And he took their magazines. <laughs> Stupid. He held on to some of Brian's things. Oh. Wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. Hmm. <laughs> got a radio base station up here. Hmm. He was listening to us on that. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. Oh, I never took a picture of the kid. Oh, that would have made sense. Oh, shit. I never took a picture of the base, too. Fuck. Go back. Everything's burning up, dude. He had quite the view. Oh, shit. Yep. Stakes too high, no one will believe B was happy. Make C plus 2F less believable. 2F crazy like wife, not a good guy. Mama Grizz back. They heard me fully believe there is a program useless. Oh. So he did make it all up. This is, he made up those, those reports. Recorded call, use it for leverage. 
Two have found supplies. Key's gone. How? Catlet. Two have find B. Wait. Someone stole the keys then. But he didn't know. Yeah, no problem, Biz. Well, that's interesting. Can't get a room. <laughs> Fucked up. Do not want to leave. Remind your height supplies for migration. For migration. Suspect, suspect conspiracy funny. If not dire observation, be ready to leave. Start working on reports. Vandalize these tower. Try to make remote recording device. Hit against each other. Like to point severed comm radio. Wait, he severed it? Oh, oh, he stole the panties. He cut the wire and he wrote on the panties. That's why they assumed we stole the panties because he stole it when he cut the wire to leave the note to blame it on the women. Oh. 2F is a good guy. I haven't seen Mama Grizz in two months. Delilah drunk again. Fly fishing. Swamp Grizz. Am I going to die to this bear? <laughs> Saw 2F coming out of the cave. You calling for hiker's list. Delay her. She'll forget. Interesting. Wait, is this all that's in the area? Was that is that to help me piece the story together? I'm thinking it was. I think I need to get out of here now. I mean, I don't think the kid's body will be affected by the, um... By the fire, since it's in the cave. So I don't really know if I need to take a picture of it. But I think with all these notes and shit, it should be enough, at least on our side, to know what's going on. It's how the game in Pablo Escobar murders you? Oh, no. Not like this. Okay, so I need to head... So I can head... It's not going to head me over there. Oh, just head through the canyon? Yeah, let's head west and then through the canyon. Watch as I'm running to the bear. Okay, I know where I'm at now. should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. Guess what you ate for dinner? Please tell me waffles. He <laughs> was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. I think... I think that Ned loved him. I don't want to hear it. He, he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you... Kronk. You figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. Yeah, that's fair. I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. You said it yourself. Let's it go the wrong way. God damn. To look after it. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> he? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, 
They're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, it's dangerous here, and and if anything were to happen, then that would be on me. So. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, you sure that's okay? I said it was. All right. Um, I should go. Have a safe flight. All right. Have a safe hike. So he doesn't have malicious intent. He never did anything wrong. The only missing person. Wait. Who was the other missing person? Although that could have just been the bear. <laughs> Forgot to tell your dad to buy waffles. No. What do you mean waffles aren't that good, Gunner? Someone banned Gunner. <laughs> I'm kidding. Waffles are way better. Listen, you're entitled to your horribly wrong position. As they say, the best thing about being an American is your right to be wrong. <laughs> You always wanted waffles, but you never tried them. Waffles are great. Oh, so they taste amazing with dark chocolate. You gonna go by the cave? Nah. I don't think there's a point to. I don't think it'll help if I take a picture. I feel like the story's wrapping itself up. Like waffles are better though because they're more crunchy. Exactly. Some people like soft shit. I'm like, why? The belief that pancake is better is just a fact. That is an immeasurably incorrect statement. I was going to make a poll on it on Twitter and then I realized I'm not smart enough to Twitter, so I didn't send it. <laughs> I posted it up for a second and then I checked the tweet and there was no like vote buttons and I was like alright well fuck it I guess I'll just delete it then <laughs> oh I go the wrong way oops Where were you going? I don't remember. I can't see shit because this fucking Huey hazy shit. I think I'm supposed to go up this hill. Does pineapple belong on pizza? I have no issue eating pineapple on pizza if it's accompanied by ham. You need something to, to narrow down the sweetness of pineapple. What's going on, animal lover? How you doing? Listen, like, it's not one of those I'd go out of my way to eat it. But if that was the only pizza left and I was hungry, I'd eat it. You know what I mean? So pineapple sardines pizza? No, I would never eat sardines. I hate fish. Absolutely hate fish. Am I going the right way? I am. Oh shit, I need to go north. I was going the wrong way. There we go.
I think I'm gonna run to the dad in the last part. Need that point. North, northeast. There it is. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? Yo, what if I die going across this? What a fucking horrible ending that would be. Julia all along. Imagine me peeking in there to see what's going on. <laughs> Sickos. Two people in chat are like, why don't you look? <laughs> oh shit, they did it. Henry, what we know. White shorts. <laughs> I fucking love it. That's me in a real life. Imagine. You're Dean, do you get a cookie? Always get a cookie. What? Anybody there? Hi. Oh. Yeah, it's me. Hello. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red, Colorado plates. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Yep. Sure is. It's better than whatever you drive. What do you drive? <laughs> a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, there you go. I think there's a raccoon living in yours. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not oh shit, you hear the police in the background? No, and you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, sure. Um, maybe. I mean, it's been 11 years, you know what I mean? I think it's time. Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Mm -hmm. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I can come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. Hmm. You gotta go see her. Would you? Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came mm -hmm. out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. I've, uh... I gotta move on. I don't expect you to know what that's like, but I... have to find some way to move on. Something to do. What if you can't? 
Then that's why God invented booze, I guess. <laughs> that's not funny, but it's I'm relatable kidding. to a lot of people. But I gotta move on. Somehow. Yeah. I hope you do. There's the helicopter. They'll land you back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah. Bye, Hank. <laughs> she fucking called him Hank at the end. God damn it. Mixed nuts, let's go. Mainland brand? Oh wow, they actually used a real brand. Oh shit, that's what she was using. Hold on. You love my streams? Oh, thanks. Hey, Lola, let me go get it. You son of a bitch. I want to grab it. No. I can't even see my base because all the fire. Oh, man. We, have all, we all have our own taste. That's the truth. No food shaming here. Unless it's sardines. Fuckfish. Not literally, but metaphorically when it comes to food. Unless you're into that, then I mean, you know, weirdo. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Wait. The MC8 song sounds kind of like it. Well, I have to worry about the shit. Twitch fix. Also, if this is on YouTube, I guess YouTube doesn't have to worry about it. Way to go, YouTube. 